Instead, I talked about God, his son, and his big idea, and the people ate it up. Why? Because people are tired of religion. They are tired of something that does not work and cannot answer the deepest questions and longings of their soul. People all over the world are looking for something more. Our world today is racked with unrest and violence. War, genocide, ethnic cleansing, and terrorism all speak to the violent clash of cultures on an unprecedented scale. At the heart of this cultural conflict lie fundamental, deeply entrenched, and thoroughly differing ideologies that are religiously based. Whenever religion becomes the foundation of a culture, then changing that culture is very difficult because it is based on a belief system. Historically, religious differences have been and continue to be responsible for most of the violent conflict throughout the world. Clearly, religion has failed humankind. A uniquely beautiful idea. Religion is man's idea, not God's. God's original idea is much bigger and much better than anything we humans could ever dream of. And what was God's big idea? He decided to extend his heavenly kingdom to the earthly plane, to extend his supernatural realm into the natural realm. Or to put it another way, God decided to fill the earth with the culture of heaven. How did God bring his big idea into being? In this, as in almost everything else he does, God did the unexpected. Typically, human kingdoms and empires rise and fall through war and conquest, not God's. Because his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways. See Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8. God did something completely different. When God decided to bring the culture of heaven to earth, he did not use war. He did not use conquest. He did not issue a code of laws right away. No, when God set out to bring heaven to earth, he did something much simpler, something uniquely beautiful and wonderful. He planted a garden. Although invisible, heaven is a literal place. It is a kingdom with territory and a government, God's government. From the beginning, God had a very simple goal, to extend his invisible heavenly kingdom to the visible earth. This original intent lies at the heart of the scriptures. Historically, whenever the rulers of a kingdom or empire have desired to expand its influence or territory, they have done so primarily by one of two means, outright conquest or colonization. As the sole and uncontested creator and ruler of all that is, God chose to expand his influence and domain from the spiritual to the natural.